Have you guys ever used AI to design something for you in a 3D project? I know there are programs out there that convert 2D images to 3D, but we're going to do this the old-fashioned way. We're going to take the 2D images generated by AI and model, texture, rig, and animate it in Autodesk Maya. I'm sure in the future AI could probably do all that for me, but for now we want control of our character in a clean animation. Today, we're going to use Microsoft's Copilot to help generate our images. I believe it uses Dolly, and it's free as long as you have a Microsoft account. I wanted to create a 3D French Bulldog character, so these were the prompts that I used. I also told Copilot that I wanted different views. A front view, a side view, a back, left, right, and a perspective view. Let's see what it comes up with. So these are the designs that it gave me, and I thought they were very cute. I'm not really sure how AI creates these images and what algorithm it uses. Here are some images that I saved earlier. This one in particular, I like the cuteness of the face and the overall design. And what's interesting is it gave me some geometry lines. I'm not sure why though. And the proportions were pretty good. You know, I like, I like how proportional everything is. And uh, let's see, I like the side view on this one. And what else? And so what I was going to do is take the attributes of each one uh, that I liked and just combine it to, you know, create a 3D character. So... And I don't know why this one has a skateboard, and I'm not sure where that came from. But uh, anyways, let's get started in modeling and animating this character. So I just started off trying to get, get the basic head shapes. And I didn't use any image planes because I, uh, I realized that the images weren't going to line up correctly. So that's how, that was my approach. I mean, you could use image planes if you want to. So we're just basically, you know, pushing and pulling vertices just to get, get it to look as, as close to, you know, the reference image as possible or whatever you want to look like. Here I just quickly imported an eye just to get a better feel of what the character will look like and, um, and it, just, it just helps the overall look of the character, you can see the character better. And then right here, I'm just importing a nose, and uh, it just adds to, you know, the overall look of the character. Next is modeling the body, and basically we're just creating the basic shapes first, and uh, we're following the reference images. The one thing that the AI generated images have helped me with is the proportion size of the character. You can see how long the legs will be in proportion to the body, as well as you know how big the head is uh, in proportion to the body as well. Right here I'm just extruding the feet and just following the reference images that AI generated.
Right here I'm combining the head and the body and just connecting them together. Here I'm just extruding the tail and refining the body. Now I'm just working on the inner mouth. Here I'm adding an edge loop to the eye. So later on I probably need it to create eye blinks. And so that's really important. Smoothing out the mesh with the sculpt surface tool. Next is UV mapping. You definitely want good UV maps. You don't want to depend on Substance Painter to automatically map it for you. Creating good UV maps really helps you in texturing. Next, we import the model to Substance Painter and begin texturing. I decided to go with a white and brown color scheme similar to one of the AI generated images. After applying our textures from Substance Painter, here's a quick render of our model. It kind of looks like a chihuahua. I decided to just quickly rig the mouth to see how it would open and close. Here I'm just rigging our character with advanced skeleton to cut down on time. After binding the skeleton, I have to paint weights to make sure that the joints bend properly.
Now we have to rig the face to create all the facial expressions. Now we're just creating blend shapes for the eyes. Here we're just creating a corrective blend shape for the mouth. Creating the squash and stretch blend shape. Here I am just animating different facial expressions. Here we're just animating the walk cycle. Here we're animating the run cycle. So what do you guys think about AI helping out with the character design process? Do you think it inspires more creativity or does it take away from creativity? 